man, oh man, this Ravens team, jeez, jeez, another running back goes down for them, damn it, so we... First saw the Ravens running back number one, J.K. Dobbins, go down out for the entire year. And now their kind of second string goes down. Ravens running back Justice Hill tore his Achilles at practice. He is out for the season. So now they have absolutely no depth here at the running back position. They have Gus Edwards, and they got Tyson Williams, who's a rookie who has nothing proven in this league. He may be good. Let's see what he did. Where is this man even coming from? Tyson Williams. Let's get his career stats up. I want to see what this man was doing at BYU. Let's see what this man was doing in college. Is he somebody that they can rely on because they – are potentially going to be having to use him very, very a lot. <laughs> They're going to have to be using him a lot because they've got nobody else besides Gus Edwards, and Gus Edwards is solid, but he's not even the number one running back on this team. They were going with J.K. Dobbins over Gus Edwards, so the number two has to step up to the number one plate, Gus Edwards. The number three kind of, or even four kind of, has to step up to the number two. Now, the Ravens were working out running backs uh, yesterday in a couple of days to kind of shore up their depth and we're going to talk about their options uh, but let's see what we got here by Tyson Williams went to BYU for a year but then he was at North Carolina for one year in 2015 and then South Carolina oh he, he, he went to his rival he's like y'all not playing me here at North Carolina well I'm gonna go to South Carolina all right, so four different schools, or three different schools in four different years. That's not the best thing. Uh, but here we go. Anything good. Year one at North Carolina, only 57 rushing yards. Yeah, I would leave there too. Then he goes to South Carolina for two years, 471 yards. Okay, one touchdown. 2018, still out, still out, still at South Carolina, and he gets a little bit worse. Only 328 yards. He did have, did have four touchdowns, though, so we can get beyond that, I guess, a little bit. And then BYU, 2019, uh, 264 yards. Man, oh, man. So... That's nothing great. I don't know if I rely on that as my number two. Jeez, and I guess didn't play in 2020? Damn. So... Yeah, you really got to bring in some other running backs here, and they were working out Le'Veon Bell and Devontae Freeman. Now, this is the perfect kind of opportunity for the Ravens. They're like, you know what? Our hands are kind of tied here. We were going to just keep it, you know, keep going with who was on our roster, but now that, um, oh man, what was his name? Um, now that Justice Hill is out and J.K. Dobbins is out, well, I guess we can go out and sign Le'Veon Bell. Why not? This is a risk-free move at this point. You can go out and sign Le'Veon Bell. Um, you know, he's obviously great. We know what he can do in his prime. I mean, his numbers and stats speak for themselves. Um, just unfortunately, the overall kind of locker room chemistry and personality may not be the best fit here for Baltimore that is in kind of a win-now mode. They've always kind of been in the back seat to the Chiefs the last kind of two seasons and now this really has to be the year where they can prove that they can kind of you know hang with the big dogs in the AFC have to kind of get to an AFC championship game this season to say hey we can actually compete with y'all and we're not just kind of you know this big flashy thing in the regular season that clams up and shuts down in the playoffs and can't get it done we have to see this Ravens team have real great success come a deep playoff run, but they have to get their running game figured out as well. So bringing in Le'Veon Bell, who may not be the best kind of locker room fit, but you can just be like, hey, you can chalk it up to, by, by just saying, hey, you know, we had no other option. We had to get a nice veteran presence in here right now quickly who can kind of absorb the playbook and absorb our team chemistry right off the rip quickly because we have to get them ready for potentially week one. Definitely get them ready for week two. So, I mean, I think this is the perfect opportunity for the Ravens just to go out and sign Le'Veon Bell. Every team has kind of been avoiding signing Le'Veon Bell. I mean, folks, you know, we know this man can run the football. I mean, when we're looking at kind of, you know, who else is available in free agency, Le'Veon Bell, Devontae Freeman, Adrian Peterson, uh, Lamar Miller, Alfred Morris. I mean, we're going to go with Le'Veon Bell, who's kind of the youngest out of that bunch and the most experienced out of that bunch, well, besides Adrian Peterson. 
and kind of the best out of that bunch. Maybe not Adrian Peterson, but you know, Adrian Peterson is unfortunately aging out of this league. So I really think Le'Veon Bell totality wise is the best free agent running back available. And everyone's just kind of been passing them up, glossing over. Oh, we don't want Le'Veon Bell. We don't want that distraction. But the Ravens can just be like, we have to just swallow this distraction. We kind of have a free pass. You know, we sign him to a one year deal, give him minimum money. If he doesn't work out this season, then we throw him to the curb next year. But we have a free pass this season because of all the injuries. So you can sign Le'Veon Bell with no strings attached, really. And if he doesn't work out and the media's like, you know, this is why you can't have Le'Veon Bell in your locker room or whatever it is, the Ravens could be like, yeah, we agree and we'll get rid of him next year. But we just had to do something. We're a couple of days away. We're less than seven days away from the start of the regular season. We need a veteran that can come in and learn the playbook just like that. So we had to just go out and sign Le'Veon Bell. So I think it's a no risk, high reward situation here in Baltimore. Go out and just bite the bullet and get Le'Veon Bell. Get him and Lamar Jackson. Ooh, I'm loving that. The great speed between both of them. I mean, that run pass option kind of read option game would be absolutely um, murderous. It'd be murderous with Le'Veon Bell and Lamar Jackson because of their great explosive ability, because of their great speed and their kind of great size and what they can do on the football field of making everybody miss and getting into open space and just taking the top off the defense. I mean, geez, if you have to worry about Lamar Jackson keeping it and running it or throwing a, you know, a 50-yard bomb down the field to Sammy Watkins or he hands it off to Le'Veon Bell who can go run 50 yards right up the middle and get behind all the safeties or it's Lamar Jackson keeping it and rolling out I mean it's going to be hard as heck to stop so we'll see who the Ravens decide to bring in they worked out Todd Gurley back in June. He's still not signed. I don't think you go with him. I mean, why? You have your pick of the crop here, and you can just use that excuse of, hey, we had to do something last, 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 last minute. We had no option. We can't go with Todd Gurley because of the arthritis in the knees. We just have to go with Le'Veon Bell in the not great personality that he kind of brings along with himself. We just have to swallow that and hope it doesn't ruin our locker room for this season and if it can work out that's great and if it doesn't we can just kind of you know wipe our hands we had no choice we had to do it he's gone next year no worries and then you know we're we're back to J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards come next season when J.K. Dobbins is back healthy so I really think this is a perfect opportunity to the Ra for the Ravens to go out and sign Le'Veon Bell without not get without getting really kind of any negative attention in the media honestly you can just be like hey we have had to do it. Time is a ticking, and we needed a nice veteran. We had to get Le'Veon Bell. That's all there is to it. So we'll see who they go out and sign. Expect it as soon as possible, just because you know we're talking about this Sunday is the start of really the the kickoff. Yeah, we have Thursday night football. That's only two teams going at it. But Sunday, I mean, everybody's going. Everybody's going. Um, so. We'll see who the Ravens go out and decide to bring in. Definitely seems like they're going to bring in somebody. If it's not Le'Veon Bell, they're definitely going to get another free agent. And I'm still a little upset that Lamar Miller is not getting a better look out here. Why is Lamar Miller not going and working out for the Ravens? It's only been Devontae Freeman and Le'Veon Bell and Elijah Holyfield. Where is Lamar Miller? Where is the disrespect for Lamar Miller coming from? I don't get it. I will never get it. But that's where we're at with the Ravens, unfortunately. Unfortunately, another running back goes down and they're working out some free agents.